or screencast I might be starting to do uh, regarding for, to, uh, programming for PHP and other languages. Uh, uh, my name is Zachary Quintana. I'm a programmer who's been doing this for many years now and uh, we're going to start off by talking about Composer which is if you're a PHP programmer you want to be one it's a must learn tool and I'll tell you why because uh, Composer is a dependency manager and what that means is that, com that it will manage your dependencies which means all those libraries that you're using already to to do certain things your you know database abstraction layer your uh, your framework itself the, the templating framework you use to, 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 to display these sites um, any of those things you can tie into your dependency manager and it'll make sure to grab the exact versions you're using now it seems kind of trivial it might seem trivial at first anyways but uh, it's really important like let's say for instance you're working on one computer and you go to another computer you don't want to have to go searching around the web for those same dependencies you're using and also you don't want to have to store all these dependencies that really aren't your project your project probably isn't the dependency or the framework or the template your project uses those but it doesn't isn't that project so you shouldn't be responsible with maintaining it or having to spend a, an egregious amount of time finding that piece of uh, software every time you need to use it. So what it, what this composer allows you to do is to, in a text file, put all those projects you want to use and then make sure you're always using the versions you want. And that allows you to control the quality of your, co your code and not to deal with things with like bugs from upgrading or from doing an, uh, an unwanted upgrade and all of a sudden you have bugs and you have to figure out what, what's causing the breakage. Uh, this will totally circumvent that. You'll never have to worry about that again. And uh, we'll start by learning how to install Composer. You'll notice right here I'm on a, on a Unix type machine um, in Terminal and you'll see that I've set up a Dex directory called Temp and Composer is not available. So this is what we do to install Composer. Uh, you can go into your, all I've done here is I've gone to composer.org, I clicked on get started, and I scroll down to installation for Nix computers. And then I just run this command it tells me, which is to install it and to run it through the PHP. And watch what happens. Installed. Now to use it, I have to run PHP in front of it, uh, and then write composer.far. Actually, I don't really have to put the PHP in front of it, but I will just because it tells me to. Now, this is kind of frustrating to install this way because, so for instance, if I switch directories and I run the same uh, command, it no longer works. Not even if I ran, uh, oops, I noticed I put JSON, so no one complains. Uh, you'll see it didn't work because I couldn't find the file. And the same thing can be said if I just ran Composer itself. It's not going to find it. Uh, however, if I move this file into my bin, which will n now allow it to be globally available, and to do that, I can just run you know, this uh, user local bin, which is where I was searching for anyways, right? And I'll move the composer file into bin slash uh, composer.far. Okay. Now, if you're like me, you probably don't want to have to type in composer.far every time. It works, but uh, the dot .far is kind of redundant. So what we can do is we can symlink this by doing a little symlink magic like this. User slash local slash bin slash composer dot far, which is where the file is, the target file, and where our desired symlink will reside is just straight composer. Now if I run composer, it works without the dot far. So that's how you can get uh, get composer running on your computer relatively quickly. And now, how to use it or what to use it for. Well, I'm going to demonstrate a, a quick way of how you can use Composer by starting a project inside this temp directory, uh, installing a framework, and running the first, uh, you know, get started or hello world tutorial. And I'm going to do it relatively quickly. Uh, watch this. Uh, following the docs, if you read it, you would just have to start a composer.json file in the directory you want to work in. Then, if you f go to any of the frameworks that are inside of this, uh, you can find frameworks for Composer by going to Packages, but we're just going to start with Composer. And if you have notice in Composer, they, they re recommend you use, uh, I mean, sorry, so if you go to Slim Framework, we're going to try it with that one, they'll show you they recommend using Composer to install it. <coughs> and a lot of them are doing this now. Symfony is doing it as well. So we're just going to copy out their require, and we're going to paste it into our document. Now, the important part into is really this part right here. Uh, this whole require blah blah blah. If we wanted to add an additional 
um, require to our dependency. All we'd have to do is add a comma and then start another tree. But we're not going to on this one. We're just going to do a simple example. So that's our basic composer file, our basic readiness. And you should know too that if you want to contribute a package to Packagist, which is the repository for composer, it starts with a composer file as well, composer.json, same way. Now all we have to do to install what uh, we've, we've are requiring now is just composer install, easily enough. And there it is, it's installed. If we wanted to update it, now let's say that there was a new version and we upgraded our, our composer file, we just run composer update and it will run and look for an update. Right now it doesn't have one obviously because I'm just testing. Now we can do a view PHP. I'm using Vim right now for the sake of speed. Um, but you probably want to use an IDE or a text editor like um, Sublime or something like that, which I may be doing a few tutorials on my own, um, not tutorials, but maybe reviews, better word, uh, on what I found with regard to text editors and IDEs and which one I prefer personally that I use on a day-to-day -day basis for a programmer. Now, we have a file we want to use to take advantage of this Composer stuff. Here's another cool thing about Composer. When you st install Composer and you start using it, you can, and when you install it, it automatically creates all of the auto loads for you in this one file, vendor slash autoload.php. And they ask that the people contributing to Composer follow a pretty strict guideline to, uh, actually it's not that strict, it's just a good guideline to this auto files, the way they should, uh, the auto loads, how they should be done. And this is good because it'll help you uh, prevent from s some basic security attacks. So this, the, the rules, you can read them, it's PSR-0 PSR requirements, and that's what they would like everyone to do. So now I'm including it. Now to show you that I don't have to do anything more to start using the library, I'm just going to copy and paste exactly what the documentation says here on the Slim Framework, and you'll see that this will automatically start working. Um, for me, which is what I like about Composer. I'm just pasting this code right from their their, their page on PHP, uh, Slim Framework, right? So, I'll boot up uh, the PHP development server right there. So, it's uh, started off already. Now, if I go to localhost 3000, you'll notice um, that won't work, but that's because inside of that document, I'll show you. Uh, view, what was it? Index.php. You'll notice that the route we're actually doing is hello slash name. So let's try that route and see if it really does work. Hello slash world. And look, our first composer slash slim framework project and it works like a charm. No problems. And this to show you how cool this can be, uh, I put my name in here, it doesn't even matter. It just starts working. So this is a brief whirlwind tour of Composer and what you can do to get your start project started. Uh, it also is great because when people are contributing to Composer, that means a better user base of PHP projects come out and we can all be sharing from each other's code, makes better code, we all become better, more productive programmers. So check it out, check out Composer. Uh, if you like the video, please uh, subscribe to it and uh, let me know in your comments below if you uh, want to see more tutorials along these lines. Uh, also as a follow-up note, if you want to find packages, just go to packages.org and you can find just about any type of composer library, or any kind of PHP library you might be looking for your specific need. Uh, since learning and start using you know, Ruby's Bundler and JavaScript NPM, I've just done it with everything. PHP with Objective-C, I use some kind of dependency manager to handle everything and it surely takes away a lot of headaches. So uh, that's it. Uh, thank you for spending a few minutes listening and I hope you enjoyed.